false alarm on that. Thought somebody was here, but it was the neighbors. It was my neighbors. Wouldn't she like to be my neighbor? <laughs> Please, won't you be my neighbor? Would you like to be my neighbor? Okay, so what was I gonna, where, where, where did I leave off? I was, I was in the middle of something great. I know I was, I was, I was gonna say something. <laughs> let, me, let me think about it. Oh, I remember. I remember now. Yeah, uh, there was some talk on, on the group. I guess it was a couple weeks ago. I can't remember now because time flies for me. It's just, it just flies. But uh, someone asked, who's the best female slinger? Who's the best? I guess people got a little heated about it because, uh, you know, nobody wants to, nobody wants to single people out and say that they're the best. Nobody wants to do that because then somebody else is going to get, you know, somebody else is going to be like, well, what about me? Am I not, am I not as good? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I did have an answer, but I think that post has been deleted, so... Uh, I will I will give my answer on on a live stream because I think that I feel like I should speak up about it. I should I should talk on this. I should have something to say about it. Why? I'll tell you why. Because I was like one of the first female slingers that got in the game media wise I mean I can't I can't put I can't say that I'm the only girl ever the first girl ever to play with beggary I can't say that but I can say that I'm the first girl to actually make videos and be active as far as video editing and beggary representation of the ladies and I'll take that I'll take it because it's true now, I'm not trying to say I'm the best. I never said I was the best. I can do stuff. But I will say this. I'm probably the best two-handed female slinger that I've known. You can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but I think, I would like to think that I, you know, kind of invented the whole two-hand style. So if anybody's the best at it, it should be me. It should be me. And I'll, I'm not I'm not shy. I'll take that award. I'll take that crown. Who's here? Simon. Oh, do they really, Simon? They only tell you when it's over? That that sucks, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you lucked out. I did a part two. So anyway, what was it? Where, where, where did I leave off? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to say I'm the best. And uh, for me, I I I like all the swingers that are female. I think they all rock. I think they all bring something different and something inspiring. Even for me, they inspire me. So I'm proud of all of all the female slingers, and I'm not one to single any out. Maybe myself. <laughs> when the when the time is right, you know, when it calls for it. It's only because I'm conceited. But, uh, <laughs> but no, no, no. Seriously, though, for real. Uh, all the female slingers inspire me and I'm very proud of each and every one of them because I came from a time of, of being like the only female slinger actively making videos, editing, doing lives. I'm the first one that kind of started this whole live thing that we do every Saturday. So, you know, I was kind of alone, kind of a lonely girl 
in the skilled toy world. It, it was the same with Astro Jacks, really. When I was doing that, I was I was surrounded by boys, and I was the only girl. So to have girls, you know, women, females, ladies, to have them join and do what I do, it's you don't know it, how how it makes me feel. Like honestly, I don't care if they're good or if they're not. I just like the fact that they're doing it. So I'm not gonna say what is better than the other. I'm just gonna say I love them all because I do. Because I was around in a time when there was none. And I was like all alone by myself. So it just uh, it makes me proud, you know? And I love them all. And a lot of them are really, really skilled. I've seen improvement with many of them. And uh, they inspire me every day. So every time I see it, just keep on making videos, because every time I see them, I get pumped. I really do. Yeah, well, of course. I mean, but if you're going to single out one person, then Holly is also as good. And she's sponsored. And NP is sponsored. So, you know, of course, that's obvious. That's obvious that they're way up on the high level. You know, and I admire them both. They're my, they're like my favorite female slingers. They've come a really long way as far as trick wise and just pushing, innovating style, technique and tricks. They're awesome. They're awesome. <clears throat> so yeah, I just thought I'd bring that up because I did see that post and I saw some people do you know took it a little personally and I think it got a little out of control and I couldn't find it so it probably got deleted but uh, you know we're a community and we can talk about things and I don't see nothing wrong with bringing up any subjects as long as you know they're not offensive and that one wasn't offensive so you know it's it's a good it's a decent question. I, I really wouldn't uh, ban the question. <laughs> like, I, I like to know people's opinions, too. It's just like, you know, you got, like, the heavy hitters that are all guys, right? And I can't think of them off the bat right now. Uh, what are their names? Help me. <laughs> I can't think of their names. I'm bad with names. I know their handles. Twelve Oaks, uh, Twelve String Oak. Well, I forgot his name. The usual suspects. You know who they are. Tell me who they are, Simon. Uh, I can't think of them. I don't know them by name, but Noy Begley, I think is his name. He used to do short game, and now he does long game. He's he's in one of my. Yeah, the AO2 crew, yeah, of course. He's, he's one of my favorite, and he's not in the AO2 crew, so that's why I bring him up. I think he's German? I'm not sure. He's, he's I know he's European, but yeah, he, I, I was like totally mesmerized by his short game. I said this is a short game. And then all of a sudden, he just, he just jumped on the long game boat. Which is cool. I mean, he does long game really well. So he, I guess he got bored with the short game. But he was doing really crazy things, dude. I was like constantly amazed by that guy. And there's there's a whole bunch of others that are not on the AO2 crew, but of guys that I look up to that I'm inspired by. Muscle Bones, he's not on the AO2 crew. He's really good. You know, so it's it's a legit question. Like, I don't want to dog the guy that, that asked the question, but, you know, I can see how it would ruffle some feathers. <laughs> and you know, I, I really don't... I didn't feel like it needed to be... Like, it should have gone that far. Like, like okay, everybody has an opinion. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. And... Uh, yeah, but I had something to say, and then I now I can't find it because I think it got deleted. So I thought I'd just give you my thoughts on that subject. 
because why not? I am a female slinger. So yeah, okay. Got that out of the way. Oh yeah, Ed Edelberg, Ed Eddie. I call him Eddie. He just joined the crew, actually. So congratulations to Eddie. Because Eddie's on the AO2 crew now. That's pretty awesome. Um, let's see, what, what other, uh, what other things should I talk about? Oh, you like my background? I changed it. Can you tell? It's different. It's different. So I gotta, um, I gotta get back in, in action and, and make, finish up the videos that I've already started to make. And, uh, start new ones. Oh yeah, the bagels, Kickstro, marble. I have to look up marble. I know I Isla, Isla, Isla. Yeah. Now why is there such a delay? I, that was like an old question. I've already passed that. <laughs> I'm no longer asking that. Uh. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you, Simon. I can always, I can always count on you. Thank you, TC. I can, I can count on you guys and gals for giving me that info because I'm just absent-minded. I don't know if it's like short-term or if it's brain damage. <laughs> because I did have a concussion. I'm not lying. I'm not making this up. I, I suffered a concussion in a car accident in the year 2000 yeah that really happened so i i like to blame all my forgetfulness on that and say well there's a lot of things i don't remember <laughs> and that could be the reason why i mean i don't know it's just my theory but it, it feels good to have something to blame it on <laughs> because yeah stuff like that really does happen I feel like, I, honestly, there are memories that have lost my mind, like they are no longer accessible to me. And it's, it's stuff like when I was a kid, uh, things like even when I was already like an adult, just certain little things, I just can't remember them. Some, someone will like remind me or, or tell me, remember the time when this and this happened? And I'll just be like, no, no. I'm like, remember when you said such and such? I'm like, I never said that. <laughs> and not because I'm like, you know, trying to deny it or whatever, but it, I, I just literally cannot remember. So, so that, that haunts me. And I hope that it's not like a serious thing. But, you know, I'm short, I'm short term, so. <laughs> kind of reminds me of uh, Johnny Mnemonic. Have you ever seen that movie? You've given me like lights and you've seen that movie. Johnny Mnemonic uh, with Keanu Reeves. It's like a cyberpunk movie where he was a, a courier of data. Some people say data. I say data. <laughs> and what he did was uh, he had like a, a hard wire in the back of his, this was before he did the Matrix, by the way. So he would plug in like a, I want to say it was like a USB, but it wasn't. It was kind of like a headphone jack. He would just plug it in and then he'd download all this information and he'd smuggle it different places and it was in his brain. But the only way he was able to do that was he had to dump a chunk of childhood memories. I think that was the line. <laughs> Yeah, Simon's seen it. He knows. And uh, yeah, that kind of sucked because he, he lost all his childhood memories. If you think, I was, I was trying to see how it like, relate to that and see what it would be like. Or just imagine that you had amnesia and you don't know who you are. And then you finally remember who you are, but you don't remember when you were a kid. Like, I wonder if that ever happens. <laughs> That would be interesting, but I don't know. I don't know if that's like an actual thing. 
But yeah, it wouldn't have been sad though if you can't remember what your birthday is when you were a kid blowing out candles. If you can't remember you know, playing on a swing or doing things that are no longer around. It's like in my generation, we had seesaws. Like, I don't know if you guys still have them. I don't think that we do in America. I think they got rid of seesaws because they were dangerous. <laughs> and merry-go-rounds. I got rid of those too. It was the one that would spin. And you push it and then you jump on it and then you go around in circles and some kid would always get hurt. I guess that's why they got rid of it. But, you know, hey, I survived. A lot of my generation survived and we didn't die from the seesaw accidents or the merry-go-round thing in the playground. <laughs> I miss those things. I want them back. But yeah, if you if you can't remember those times and the things you did as a kid, how sad if you don't have your childhood memories anymore. But hey, man, you can like you know carry a lot of information, just like like a zip drive or whatever in your brain. I think that movie was before zip drives, wasn't it? It was before everything. I like how movies are like they are precursors to actual things that do happen, like Star Trek and the whole the whole communicator, and you know they could talk to people on a little walkie-talkie type thing, and now we all have cell phones, except for me. <laughs> they died from many other dumb things. Yeah, they, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but um. Before I leave, I'm going to get off already, but before I go, I'm going to do this real quick. I've been practicing on thumb trucks by Jimpy Designs, and I just haven't had a chance to, to make a clip, so, you know, please forgive me for not, not doing that. People have been asking. I know Mitch. Mitch wanted to... <laughs> Mitch was like, hurry up! Make a clip already. What's wrong with you? And who else told me? Um, Someone said they looked at the pictures I put up on Instagram of these, and they were like, oh, I just kept on swiping because I thought it was a video. Where's the video? So yeah, I'll try to make a video. Maybe, maybe today. Yeah, maybe, maybe today I'll make a video. I wanted to do something that's like, involves two hand play. Cause you know, you know I like that. And, uh, and the basic, things you can do with, with thumb checks, which you can't do with anything else because they're actually like tiny and shocking. That's what they're like, just for your hand. So I'm trying to think of things that I can do. Like, oh, see? Don't steal it. I haven't made a video yet. Don't steal that one. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of the stuff that, that I plan to, to do on a clip and stuff like that. Just basic, you know, things that I know how to do, things that I have come up with, I guess. And the typical stuff that you can do. Like I watched some of uh, the tutorials and that's pretty helpful, so, yeah. If you're gonna get these, watch the tutorials. If you're not, if you're not very uh, adjusted to Dali song, the tutorial will help you. Because it, it, there is an, a, an element of Dali song playing these. So it just depends on how you, how you, how you do it. Yeah, I'm gonna go too. I'll see you, Simon, and I'll see you later.